proteins are polymers of amino acids. The basic structure of an amino acid consists of a carboxylic acid group, which is attached to an alpha carbon, and that alpha carbon is attached to an amino group, and all amino acids will have a hydrogen on the alpha carbon and a substituent that will bring different functional groups to the amino acids. Proteins are made out of 20 different amino acids that vary only on what is the character or the nature of the R substituent. A physiological pH, the carboxylic acid group will be deprotonated, so you will not see this hydrogen, and the amino group will be bonded to an extra hydrogen so it will have a plus charge. 20 different amino acids, 20 different R groups that are used to make a polymer of amino acids. Because the alpha carbon is attached to four different groups, amino acids are chiral. However, there is one exception. This is the amino acid of Glycine. Glycine has two hydrogens bonded to the alpha carbon. It's the only amino acid that is no chiral. Nature prefers the L amino acids for protein synthesis. So we have here an L alanine and a D alanine. These are enantiomers because they are the mirror image of one another, not superimposable, but only the L amino acids are used during protein synthesis. The classification of amino acids includes three that are basic, two that are acidic, and 15 that are neutral. The three basic amino acids contain nitrogen with a plus charge on the side chain. They are polar and basic. The two acidic amino acids will have carboxylic acid group deprotonated on the side chain. The three basic amino acids are lysine, arginine, and histidine. Lysine contains only one nitrogen and arginine contains three nitrogens. The side chain of histidine is an aromatic ring contains two nitrogen. All three are positively charged at pH 7. The two acidic amino acids are aspartic acid or aspartate and glutamic acid or glutamate. They are acidic because the side chain contains a carboxylic acid group. Among the 15 neutral amino acids, six amino acids will be polar and nine amino acids will be nonpolar. The polar ones will contain hydroxyl group and those are serine, threonine and tyrosine. The side chain of aspargine and glutamine contains an amide group. The last polar amino acid is cysteine, which has a thiol group. Serine, threonine, and tyrosine have OHs that can be modified by adding phosphate groups, which are important for enzymes regulations. Here we show the modification of a serine by adding a phosphate group by an enzyme that is called a kinase. And here we show aspargine that contains an amide and glutamine that also contains an amide. All of these amino acids are excellent hydrogen bond donor and also hydrogen bond acceptor 
because they contain hydrogens and also electronegative atoms with sets of lone pairs. The last amino acid in the group of polar ones is cysteine, that is very important in the formation of the tertiary structure of proteins. The oxidation of the thiol groups of two cysteines produce the cross-link in polypeptide of proteins, what is called a disulfide bond. Among the 15 amino acids that are neutral, nine are nonpolar. This is, they have a high content of carbon and hydrogens. For that reason, they are hydrophobic amino acids. Two of them are aromatic, and they are tryptophan and phenylalanine. To avoid aqueous body fluids, this kind of amino acids will cluster together to create water-free environment. Besides the aromatic nonpolar amino acids tryptophan and phenylalanine, we have also the simplest ones, glycine and alanine. These two amino acids are small and because of that they will be important when there is a need for polypeptide contact. Glycine is also unique because it's the only one that is not chiral. The next nonpolar amino acids have in common that all of them have three carbons. They are valine, proline, and methionine. Proline is the only amino acid that has an amino end that is forming a ring. It is the only secondary amine. From proline, we also get hydroxyproline, which is important in the structure of collagen. Methionine is the second amino acid that contains sulfur but we should not confuse their function. Cysteine has a free thiol group that can make the cross-link between two of them important for the cross-link of proteins. And methionine contains a sulfide bond, that is, a sulfur that is between two carbons. The last two nonpolar amino acids are isomer of one another, leucine, and isoleucine. They are isomer of one another because they have the same number of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. But if you look at the structures, this is from the carboxylic acid group, is five carbons long. This one is also five carbons long, but leucine has the methyl substituent on carbon number four from the carboxylic acid group while isoleucine has the methyl group on carbon number three from the carboxylic acid group. Another difference between them is that leucine has only one chiral carbon, which is the alpha carbon, carbon number two. Isoleucine has two chiral carbons. It has carbon number two, the alpha carbon, and also carbon number three, during the formation of a tertiary structure of a globular protein, hydrophobic amino acids, non-polar amino acids, will be placed in the interior of the protein. Polar amino acids will be placed on the surface. Those are serine, glutamine, aspargine, threonine, and so on.